This video shows you how to enter data for the latent load due to an indoor swimming pool in CHVAC. CHVAC can calculate the latent load from an indoor swimming pool. Even though the current room is an office, let's take a look at this feature. This window uses formulas from a publication from ACCA called Manual SPS, which deals with mechanical system performance related to swimming pools and spas. Enter 100 square feet for the water surface area. Now that we've entered a water surface area, the resulting latent load has been calculated. This value is updated whenever we change any of the inputs on the left side of this window. Here we can see that the water temperature can range from 76 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The activity factor lets you adjust for various levels of water churning, since more activity increases the evaporation and the latent load. The higher the air velocity, the more evaporation there is, and the higher the latent load is. Let's change the air velocity to 10 feet per minute. This input gives you an opportunity to use an operating profile for the latent pool load that is different than the room's equipment operating profile, if needed. Let's take a look at the default evaporation flux values that are used in determining the latent load. This window lets us edit each cell in this table if we want to use different values than these that come from table A5-4 in manual SPS. If we do make any changes to the values, we can save our changes to a file so that we can later use the same values for other rooms or other projects. Thanks for watching.